Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing projects four, five, and six of the Green Energy Snap Circuits Kit. Let's get to it. Let's start. But before we start, we have a few things to talk about. So, our solar panel is supposed to go on top of the pivot stand using the pivot post and pivot top. But, since we have our artificial light here, we don't need it. But, we still need the 10K resistor through this point to this point for the circuit. So, I'm going to place this first on D2 to B2. Now I'm going to use the, now I'm going to change the setting on my meter, meter to ohms and I'm going to show you that it's a 10K resistor through that point to that. It's a 10K resistor because it's showing 9.90 kilo ohms. Next, let's place our M6 meter right below this point at G2 to E2. Next, we have a two snap wire connecting connecting the meter to the pivot stand. So next we have S2 press switch. It is a normally open switch that when you press it, it closes the circuit. And then when you take your finger off, it's open again. Now let's place it at C5 to E5. Next, we have a three snap wire connecting this point of the pivot stand to the press switch. And then, next we have another three snap wire that goes from G3 to G to G5. Next we have D10. This is a yellow red diode. Oh wait, hold up! It is important to make sure that our parts go into, into the right direction. It says yellow up there, not red. And the book says red up there. There we go, I fixed it. Next, we have a two snap wire. We'll place it G2 to G3. Okay, next we have the B7 solar panel. It is usually placed on top of the pivot stand, but like I said, we have our artificial light, so I'll just place it under there and put the jumper wires on connecting. I'll slide it under, and now we have our jumper wires. Now the, we place the black one from the negative side, negative port of the solar panel to G3. Next, you place the red from the positive of the battery of the of the solar panel to in the middle of this three. Snap wire. 
Circuit complete! Good job! Alright guys, let me show you how this circuit works. Let's hook up our Fluke 101. So we have the red on top of the red. Black on top of the black. Now, let's change it to DC volts. The meter is showing 5.9 volts, but we're just gonna round it up to six volts. Let's press the switch. We have 2.3 volts. Why? Wait, the D10 is a load. And lows also consume electricity. So the six volts at the beginning, most of it is being used by the load. So only 2.3 of it gets to the fluke. But why? I just noticed on the M6, the M6 is different than the fluke 101. Wait, remember? There's the 10K resistor here. It resisted in half. We only get half of what the actual amount of electricity. And also that's why it's three on here and five and six here. Now we're doing project five. Project five requires a D8. So we're gonna place the D8 in the D10 spot. This is D8. Remember it's, it's placement sensitive. So let's take D10 off and put D8 where it was with the side that says co color on the switch while the side that says D8 on the other side. Now let's measure the volts. All right, now let's see what happens. We have a lot of a change. I suppose I hypothesize that each color is a different amount of volts needed. So we can't get an exact number. It ranges from two to five volts. Look at that thing, it's bouncing around more than a tomato when we pluck it off of the plant behind me. All right, let's move on to project six. So we need M4, M4 motor. Let's put it on the board. Unlike the D8 diode, it is not placement sensitive. Now let's see what happens. Wait, it's not moving. It's at, it's at point. Point four. That means the solar panel doesn't provide enough starting amps to spin the fan. That was the end of projects four, five, and six of the Snap Circuit Green Energy Kit. But since you stayed to the end of the video, here's today's bonus content. Woo! We're gonna hook, we're gonna hook up the fan to this battery here and get and really get some juice. Just like last time, give me a second to prepare. Dad, hit the fast forward button. <laughs> This is our bonus content. This is a 3.6 volt battery in this and we're getting 2.9 volts. That's because we haven't charged it in a long time. But let's see what happens when we press it. Now we have 2.2 volts, and that's because the fan is a load. Wow, look at how fast this fan's going with a big kick. 
Oh, have you seen? It's the fan is starting to go slower. Well, that's because the fan is a load and it's consuming all of the battery energy. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I surely did. If you did, I go check out all of mine. I have a bunch of fun videos made specifically STEM related. Until then, see you later.